the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings of today would present us the human condition of a certain dilemma or conflict where we could see that discernment is needed, which is prayerful discernment, in which we could just be guided and come up with a better understanding of the situation. Our Lord Jesus Christ again, making use of the statement when he said and spoke to the people, especially to the Pharisees, when he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And this statement of Jesus would speak about not just the light that we, we know, or that it will it will shed uh, light to darkness, guide to those who are confused and misdirected. When Jesus is saying that he is the light of the world and the light of life, this is more than the light that we know, but this is a light that is inscribed in our heart, in the heart of every person. That even the absence of light and amidst darkness, there is always the kindness and goodness in our heart because it is where that we can find Jesus. It is where that we can find God. And this is will light us in the darkness of our life. And here we see that Jesus would again saying, even if I do testify on my behalf, my testimony can be verified because I know where I come from and where I'm going, but you do not know where I come from or where I'm going. You judge my appearances, but I do not judge anyone. And here we see that the followers of Jesus are those who are not only after the signs, external signs, but the followers of Jesus are those who had felt so much of his presence in their life. They have also witnessed how Jesus has been consistent with his speech and action and how Jesus has been consistently speaking about him and the Father. On these days of Lent, it is days of purifying our intentions, our, our also pre-knowledge. It's a time of pur purifying our disordered affections so that eventually, with the sincerity and openness, we may be understand the will of God in us. As we turn with Jesus today and the days to come, let us be guided by the spirit of his humility, of his openness, and most especially of his humble humility, humble openness, and humble trust to God. In which we know this will be a, a great help for us. Humility, openness, generosity, so that we may understand the very will of God in our life. Because deep inside in our heart, alam po natin, nandun ang Diyos, ang ating ilaw na nagagabay sa ating pang araw-araw na pamumuhay. We might be when, when darkness comes in the evening or even in the midst of what we call uh, current destruction or there is what we call uh, electrical uh, shutdown, current shutdown, uh, sasabihin po natin, it's a blackout. 
but we are still be guided because deep inside our heart there is Christ there is God guiding us all through in the days of our life that's why Jesus said I am the light of the world whoever follows me will not walk in darkness but will have the light of light let us always carry Christ in our heart because we will be guided because he is the light of life amen please stay the lord does not take pleasure in the death of the wicked but rather in the